Hello YouTube people, this little video is from the series where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap watches trying to find some good ones. The success hasn't been good so far, especially thanks to Yazola. And this Yazola watch especially is the one that breaks my heart the most. Because in the pictures on Aliexpress it looks incredible, but most surprisingly it looks incredible in person as well this is like perfect example of how a sunburst blue dial has to be made it looks super rich the transition between bright blue and dark blue is incredible this dial the color is just breathtakingly beautiful step down bezel looks amazing this bubbly mineral crystal even enhances this blue dial even more hands are beautiful and they are perfectly long enough which is a little bit unusual on super cheap watches they usually are a little bit too short but these hands are perfectly long enough i mean this watch has such a great potential yet it is such a piece of shit that it's so hard to describe i it, it's unbelievable now even in the dim light this dial looks just so crazy good amazing this blue, oh my god, oh my god, this watch is so breaking my heart, <laughs> I can't describe, let's see next to the window, oh this bezel, I don't know how you call it in English, it's like step down bezel, stairs bezel, but it looks really interesting and it fits the style of this bubbly mineral crystal very well, such a great color, such a great sunburst effect, and I really love this bezel, this domed uh, mineral crystal. It looks impressive, it does look really impressive and that's the reason why it's so disappointing. How is the quality of the strap? Well, at the first look it looks incredible, it's super soft, very flexible, very squishy, very comfortable, but at a deeper look it is already falling apart. I haven't even worn this watch, I mean, wow, come on, this is, this is almost new strap, it's already falling apart, oh well, beautiful, <laughs> oh beautiful, right, now let's see how is the crown action, it's a little bit sensitive, the minute hand is a little bit jerky, no surprise there, no surprise there, let's, uh, let's see if it jumps when I push the crown in, not too bad actually, not too bad, it's just very difficult to set it correctly when it's so sensitive, now the, the main problem is actually that when the crown is pushed in and I accidentally twist the crown it just pops out, super easily like look I set the time push the crown in now the watch is going and I just gently twist the crown and just pops out uh, another problem is that this crystal no matter how hard you clean it it still has smudges because those smudges are actually from the inside it also has dust on the inside but I don't care about those things on ultra cheap watch I can disassemble the watch and clean it but let me show you another problem and for that I actually need to disassemble the watch real quick because this watch actually has a scratch on the dial and in the video I can't show you just like that I have to disassemble it take it away from that mineral crystal so let's take the moment let's take the dial everything out so this thing is easy to clean to remove dust and whatever but the problem is the major problem is that the dial itself has a scratch like right in the center it goes down to the water three atmospheres and goes up to five minutes and there are some dust quite a lot of dust on the dial that actually stuck I don't know in a painting process or whatever process but I cannot blow those dust away they're just permanently stuck on on the dial and the dial is scratched up and those hands also have dust on them that looks a little bit nasty doesn't it 